At Polaris Transportation, it's all about the border. At any one time, the Toronto area company has a hundred trucks loading, unloading, or traveling in Canada and the U.S. What governments do to help or hinder trade is crucial to business. For now, this is a firm that is welcoming the Trump administration. I think the Canada-U.S. relationship will be actually even stronger. From what I've read about Trump, he's a businessman. You know, what's better for the U.S. is have a good relationship with Canada, I think. So I'm optimistic on that. Nearly $2 billion in goods and services flow across the Canada-U.S. border every day, nearly three-quarters of Canada's global trade. The car industry is one of the largest Canadian exports, but it's been in decline since Canada, the U.S. and Mexico signed the North American Free Trade Agreement, NAFTA, 25 years ago. Peace. President Donald Canadian Trump is promising to revisit the deal, and Canadian trust. trade unions are watching closely. NAFTA has really been a dumping ground um, for, uh, for corporations, international corporations. It's been used to lower the standard of living of Canadian American workers. So when he says that NAFTA has not been good for American workers, I agree. But aside from that, I don't agree with very much else that he has to say. Canadians take pride in their perceived differences from the U.S., tolerance of different cultures, welcoming refugees and immigrants, and generally liberal social values. With President Trump's campaign rhetoric often challenging those attitudes, there are concerns in this country about what the next four years will bring. All of these agendas are significantly complicated by the change in administration in Washington and the change in tone. But I think Canada is very much up to the challenge and needs to and will play a leadership role on the international stage. Prime Minister Justin Trudeau has reshuffled his cabinet, preparing for the new U.S. government Bonjour with a new team. Well aware of the importance of trade, he's been careful not to criticize the new president while emphasizing Canada's differences from its neighbor. With its very prosperity dependent on the United States, this country will be taking whatever steps it has to to protect its economy and have good relations with the administration of Donald Trump. Daniel Lack, Al Jazeera, Toronto.